Should I set a lights target for this episode? So what are we going for? I don't know what's reasonable. Um, we've done 50 before. Wow, that, for, 45, that's for, not pushing. <laughs> 45. And again, I want to do that fun thing where if you're an opposing fan watching this, smash the thumbs down button. Do it! And if you're a Saints fan, smash the thumbs up button. Do it! I think Jack's coming. I think I'm coming. I'm here. Hey, look at that. How we been, Jack? Yeah, mate, all is good. I'm just looking for a tweet today because it made me laugh. When I read this, it made me smile. You ready for this? Go for it. Centre back Wesley Hoot is set to arrive at Lazio. He'll be joining on loan with an option to buy. <laughs> with an option to buy. It's like saying, Joining on loan with an option to find a cure for coronavirus. Like, it's never going to happen. You're not going to buy him. You never know. I mean, it's Lazio. I mean, that, what, what standard do they need there? So you're telling me there's a chance. Right then, should we do it? Just do it. Right, hello and welcome to the Matchday Vlogs Punts and Predictions Preview Show for the upcoming game at Turf Moor for Burnley versus Southampton. And after the last two results, me and Jack are really pumped for this one, aren't we? We're buzzing. Sucks! Come on! So, of course, it's, it's another away fixture. Burnley have played tonight. I think they beat Millwall 2-0 in the Cup. So, hopefully, they're really, really tired. We won't dwell too much on the Spurs game because we've said a lot. We've done a... 50- I just don't want to think about it. Let's no, I don't either. Because we did a previous video on four things we learned about the Tottenham game and I did have some comments. Let's get these comments and let's... Just, just brush through them. Um, I've got one here from Tom, Tom Cleo. Hard watch second half but still have faith. Good on you, Tom. Uh, Matthew Barnes. Our defence and central midfield is not good enough for Highline. Play the same tactics at the end of last season. Finn Goodall. Highline must go. Saints play quite well but caught out because of the ridiculous high line. I have my opinions on that high line that I shared in that previous video. I don't think it was too high. I just thought we just played it badly. Uh, we weren't tight enough. Anyway, that's my opinions. Um, ben, at least Ings is scoring again. Fair point. I, I love the positivity there. And uh, Nick Rhea, uh, we need a signing or two, but we also need to trust the process. Good thoughts there. That's all we need to say on that. But I wanted to share those. The high line, you're right. The, the back four were rubbish and they weren't communicating and they weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. But after the first two times, you know, you got to realise, OK, if we can't play this high, let's drop back yeah. in. Let's drop back in. Well, the problem was Jack Stevens was standing not goal side of Harry Kane and Bednarek was standing goal side of Kane. And there was this, there were just these big spaces. Anyway, Burnley. Let's, Burnley. let's, let's, let's put that one to one side. We're done. We're still on nil point. I'm sorry. Zero points. We need some points. Um, so, this, this game against Burnley coming up, I am feeling slightly positive, but there's a part of me that says Burnley, we never do well against Burnley. Our last fixture away there was a 3-0 loss. It was the opening game of the season last season, and I can just see this game being a 1 0 win in either direction, if I'm honest. Just because of Burnley, it's just going to be really tough to break down. So I'm just a bit concerned that we're not going to be able to. If we're, if we're playing in the same kind of attacking football that we did in the first half against Spurs, and we're getting some success, anything is possible. But I just have a bad feeling about this one. It is, it's that classic thing of it's Burnley. Like it, we do do bad against them. They're a hard team to play against. Yeah. But I kind of the, the positive spin on this for me is that maybe that the game on Sunday against Spurs was the kick in the you know the kick that we needed. To yeah. Be like right, sort it out. Come on, season's back. Let's do this. Not much like another game from last season where the score was quite massive. Hmm. After that, you saw a change. So you kind of hope after that kind of performance and the way we were really opened up this week, it's been right. We need this. We need this result. You know. Yeah. But, if, but Burnley are just they're tricky. They could be it could be like Palace again where we just come up against a brick wall. Yeah. 
So we said that we didn't adapt for, for the back last week. I feel like this week we have to adapt going forward because I don't think we, the high press will work against that. Well, we have to break down the defence. So, you know, that's right. what Gineppo... Is Redmond... Will, will Redmond be back? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't... Sorry. It's a bit early to tell, I think, in terms of who's going to be back fit. But... Um, but, you know, you know Romeo won't start with a yellow card, so that's a positive. <laughs> yeah, that is a positive. I, I did, Until he gets feel, the yellow card, and then we have I to substitute like him. will be the first players is just to, to turn out to yeah. yellow cards. You know, um, yep. it's, just, you know, it's all, that, that's the next thing, isn't it? It's the centre, centre of the park. It's, are we going to get somebody in? Is someone going to come and help, help us out in that position? That's the one mm. the spot that I'm, I'm the most worried about. I was listening to the Saints, one of the Saints podcasts today, and they made the good point of it might be a uh, Vestergaard Salas uh, Salasu uh, starting for this weekend because of the aerial threats and they've got and they're so mm. so you, we might see that. Which I when, I when I heard that, I was like, actually, if we're adapting to the game, that might be the best way to do it. If we, if we you know, realise we're being caught. But yeah, I don't think Salasu is coming into October. Yeah. I heard that he was out until then, but. I don't know. It's a bit of an unknown, really, and when you're talking about our back line, because Bednarek and Stevens can be amazing, and then they can have a game like they did on Sunday. They just kind of forget their roles after a while. You know, they're not their heads not in the game. They just they, their awareness yeah. switches off. So you can, that's why it would be good to have that. You know, you kind of want that mature head on the back, in the back line. There, I know Jack Stevens is 26 now, and Bednarek, but you know, just someone that's kind of why I miss Yoshida someone just have <laughs> to go just someone to boss it about a little bit more yeah. that was loud and Jack Stevens was loud towards the end of last season I don't know why he's not doing what, what we saw of him so maybe needs a bit of time Maybe needs a bit of time. It's a shaky time right now. It is, but I, I totally agree. We definitely need a, a defensive midfield player. We need a holding midfield player just to just to tie it up. Really, there was, there was talks of was it Tom Davies from Everton? Tom Davies from Everton. As a low move. I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know how much editing you're doing this might, but there's a certain picture of Tom Davies of what you're just. You want me to find it? Yeah, I'll, you want I'll, me to share I'll, it? I can find it and I'll send it to you because so just. Put here the picture of Tom okay, Davies. I'm going to put it right here. You see that there? That's it. This yes. is the picture Jack is talking about. I don't hate that. I think he's a sharp looking man. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. He looked at Hector Bellerina and went, I can do worse than that. <laughs> That's a boy with too much money going shopping and thought, that looks ridiculous, I'll buy that. Anyway, we're that, digressing. That, that is a man who has bought all of his outfits at a, at a festival. Right, well, let's let's quickly move away from fashion and, and move on to something more um, ridiculous, which is our score prediction section of the show. This is the opportunity in the show where you guys get to put in your score predictions in the comment section below uh, and have a chance of those featuring in the Match Day episode, um, where I will mention maybe four, maybe five of them. How exciting. Um, so be sure to stick those in the comment section below. Jack, is it my turn or your turn to go first? What game is this? Third. This is the third game, so it's back to you. It's back to me. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. It's going to be a 1 0 win to us. Nice. And I, yeah, 1 0 win to us. Maybe it took, no, 1 0. 1 0. I reckon. Lessons would have been learnt, and uh, we're going to keep a clean sheet. Man, this is an overly positive show yet again. Isn't yep, it? Yep, it's, we're all, we all know what we want. We've moved from a Dunning Ings hat trick for the first game of the season to maybe a 1 0 win. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, what are you thinking? 3 uh, 0 Dunning Ings hat trick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be positive. Okay. Say two nil to us. Okay. 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 I feel like if we can score one and keep a clean sheet, we can score two and keep a clean sheet. That's fair. That's how my head works for us right now. I feel like we're scoring a slightly earlier. You know, mm -hmm. we get one in the first half, one in the second half. And I've, I'd like to say now, I just want Shea Adams to aim for corners, <laughs> aim away from a goalkeeper, and we're gonna score so many yep. goals. Yep. You listening, Shay? Shay watches every episode of us. So, Shay, we love you. 
Um, you, put them in the corners. Eight for a corner, just aim yeah. for a corner. I mean, I can't do it, but I'm sure you can do it. He's paid a lot of money to do it. You should be able to do it by now. He's a professional footballer. So you're going 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. What sensible score predictions from us? Isn't that right? Yeah. Well, we're now... I wonder if at any point I'm just going to be like, please, let it be a draw. Just a draw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get a point. But obviously being on, well, we, we're 19th um, and with an unfavourable goal difference now. Oh, just uh, so many memories of the start of last season. But there we go. So, as mentioned, please stick in your score predictions in the comment section below and we'll have those for you. Any final thoughts, Jack? Just that, if, if you walk past St Mary's anytime soon, just prepare yourself, all right? It's emotional. It is. No, yeah, I might do that, actually. I might just drive. Go down there. Walk around the stadium. Life is a highway. <laughs> <laughs> Should I set a lights target for this episode? I see, yeah, let's do it. I see a lot of YouTubers doing that. They, they put, like, a, a lights. So what are we going for? I don't know. What's reasonable? Um, We've done 50 before. Wow. Let, for, 45. That's <laughs> not pushing. <laughs> 45. <laughs> And, and again, I want to do that fun thing where um, if you're an opposing fan watching this, um, smash the thumbs down button. And if you're a Saints fan, smash the thumbs up button. We did all right in the last one. There weren't many Spurs fans that watched the, the previous one. From what I hear, there's not many Spurs fans anyway. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> is this, this our library? Is this our library? I miss it. I miss yeah. singing if, those songs. If you listen carefully, you can just about hear the Spurs fans. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so there we go. Um, as always, thanks for joining us on these shows. Um, me and Jack are feeling super positive. Always. Um, that will never change. Uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. All right. See ya. Bye.